Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm excited because I'm going to be sharing about some products and brands that I really like that are sustainability focused. Thank you so much to Love Beauty and Planet for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, if you guys remember in my most recent favorite jewelry video, I told you guys about a company that I love, my favorite jewelry company, and they're all about ethical sourcing and being sustainable and socially responsible and I just love their brand and their products. So sustainability is something that's still pretty new to me. I'm learning about it more in the fashion area where it has to do with clothing, but I'm still trying to learn more about it in other areas. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about some sustainability focused brands for hair and skin that I use and that I really, really like. Love Beauty and Planet is on a mission through small acts of love to make us and the planet cleaner and greener and more beautiful. And they believe that small acts end up making a big difference in the long run on the earth. So they use post-consumer recycled materials to create their 100% recyclable bottles and all their products are dye-free, vegan, cruelty-free, paraben and silicone-free, and they use scents infused with an ethically sourced oil. So I'm gonna start off telling you guys about their coconut milk and white jasmine divine definition shampoo and conditioner i've been using this a lot this summer i really like this shampoo it smells so good it has natural coconut milk in it. it has organic coconut oil so it's very very moisturizing but at the same time it's pretty light it has plant-based cleansers in it to give you a really really clean feeling the shampoo is definitely a good clarifying shampoo it does have sulfates in it just letting you guys know. So I would use this, especially when I feel like I haven't clarified in a long time. If I'm feeling like I have any buildup, then this is good to do that. I know some people might not feel comfortable with um, sulfates and that's fine too, but it has a great lather. Every time I use it, my hair feels really clean and this is actually 92% naturally derived. And now onto the conditioner. I really like this conditioner because I just love a good moisturizing but lightweight conditioner at the same time. And this also has organic coconut oil in it. it has natural coconut milk it has plant-based detanglers in it when I use it on my hair it's super easy to detangle because it's lightweight it's a fast rinse conditioner meaning that it's not just gonna sit on top of your hair and take forever to come out that's really good for people with really thick hair because I know sometimes their hair can take a long time to wash out all the cleansers in it but this is a fast wash it's in it's out, it makes your hair feel really soft and it doesn't take forever to come out. And the conditioner is 97% naturally derived. The next product from the same line that I'm loving right now is their Coconut Milk and White Jasmine Hairspray Powered by Air. This has quickly become my favorite hairspray and I know for many curly girls, including myself, hairspray was definitely not part of our you know everyday routine, but this definitely has made its way in there because it is powered by air and not greenhouse gases. So it's not the type of hairspray Spray that you spray and you feel like you're choking and you have to like open a window it definitely is a light spritz that makes your hair have an extra hold but it's not making your hair hard or anything like that it has a medium hold so the hold is good but flexible so it moves with you it has no alcohol in it it's not gonna leave your hair feeling rock hard and crunchy and this also has organic coconut oil and natural coconut milk in it as well as ethically sourced white jasmine so it smells really good too so how I use this hairspray is I actually use it at the end of my styling routine. So once I applied all my products, once I finished drying my hair, I like to spray this all around my hair just to hold it in place. This is especially helpful on days when it's super humid, like today, where my hair tends to get really frizzy. Spraying this will help keep my hair in place, help my curl definition last longer. It spritzes on the hair really lightly, so it's not like a direct shot kind of spray. And this hairspray is 94% naturally derived. Their next item is their coconut oil and Elong Elong Hope and Repair 3-in-1 benefit oil. I really like this oil because it's lightweight and as you guys know I really like lightweight oils because other oils always weigh my hair down. So I like something that can give my hair some shine, some moisture, but it's not going to weigh it down. And this oil is really beneficial because it's a recovery oil for damaged hair. So it helps to strengthen and nourish your hair. It helps to prevent split ends and it smells really good. It has like a sweet floral kind of scent. Love it. So you can use this oil in a couple different ways. You can use it as a pre-wash treatment so you can put it all over your hair and saturate it. Leave it on for at least an hour or so. So it'll really get in there and help to moisturize and strengthen your hair. 
or you can use it after you style your hair and just help with flyaways and frizz like I do. So the way I use this oil is, again, I use it at the end of my styling process. I like to smooth down any flyaways, add some extra moisture to my ends because that's where my hair is most dry. A little goes a long way, so I just use one pump, rub it together in my hands, and focus on my ends where my hair tends to get very dry and it helps to prevent split ends. The oil absorbs super quickly into my hands and super quickly into my hair, so it's not the type of oil to just like sit on top of your hair and weigh it down and I just love the way it makes my hair smell after I apply it in it smells so good so thanks again to Love Beauty and Planet for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I mentioned please be sure to check out the link in my description box. Now let's move on to the rest of the products. Okay, so the next sustainability focused brand that I want to talk about is Eco Tools. And if you guys have seen any of my makeup videos, I always use their makeup brushes because they're super affordable. I've been using them for years and I do know that they use natural materials to create their products. So I love Eco Tools and most recently I purchased their J Roller. So for their products, they source recycled materials and they use renewed bamboo for a lot of their makeup brushes. They're cruelty free and they're also tree free, meaning they use no materials that come from a tree. They use 80% bamboo, 20% cotton fibers. So that's pretty cool. So their items that I'm gonna be telling you guys about today is my most recent purchase in this whole group of items. And that's their Jade Roller Duo. So it comes with this Jade Roller for the face, the smaller one for your eyes. And then this one is also for your eyes. And I remember when I first got it a couple weeks ago, I took a poll on Instagram and I asked people, do Jade Rollers really work? And the response was kind of half and half. Half of the people said yes, half the people said no. And using this the last couple weeks, I can definitely say that this works. I definitely see a difference. Um, it reduces the puffiness in my eyes. When I wake up in the morning, my eyes are always really puffy. I've been using these every morning and every night. And I can definitely tell the difference that it's reducing like the puffiness overall in my face. So the Jade Roller Duo is made from 100% jade. It's really pretty. So how you use it is you start at your chin, jawline area, and you just roll it upward. And you can use it with your favorite moisturizer. I like to use it with serums. It's supposed to help your skin stay tightened, firm, um, reduce wrinkles. And then this little thing I use for my eyes when they get puffy, I kind of just get it in there. And I gently like push out any excess like fluid or anything in my face. So you can use these cold, you can put them in the freezer a little bit before you use them and it feels so good on the skin when you use it really, really cold. But you can also use these warmed as well to help open up your pores and get you know your pores ready for whatever moisturizer you're gonna put on. So I find these to be beneficial. If you use jade rollers, let me know down in the comments below because I'm loving mine so far. Okay, and last but not least, the next brand that I wanna tell you guys about is Lush. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about Lush. If you haven't, then you're probably living under a rock. I just love, love, love their store. I love their products. They definitely have sustainability in mind when it comes to their products, their ingredients, and their packaging. All their packaging is recyclable. They also have some products that are naked, meaning that they're not wrapped up in any paper or plastic. So today I'm mentioning their Sleepy Body Lotion, which is my favorite lotion. I love this so much. And then their Rose Jam Body Spray. I also love this so much. So the Sleepy Lotion, once upon a time, used to be limited edition. They only brought it out, I think, during the holidays. Now I'm glad to say that this is in stock all year round. So this body lotion is a lavender scented lotion. It smells so amazing and relaxing. It's called sleepy because it's supposed to be something that you put on before bed, but I use this all throughout the day. It's just really calming. I love it, it smells so good. Some of the ingredients include almond oil, of course lavender oil, organic jojoba oil, organic cocoa butter. So the ingredients are really good and it just feels so good and smooth on the skin. I love how they make all of their items in batches and it's really cool because they have a sticker on each product of the face of the person who actually made your batch, which is really cool. And then this is their Rose Jam Body Spray. This is a sweet, fruity rose and vanilla scented mist. So I love this stuff. I also have their lotion version of this and also their body wash. It's it smells so amazing. I do like the scent of floral, but I also like that it's kind of mixed with that fruitiness because it just makes it smell so like sweet, but also elegant. 
I love it. I love using this in the summertime, especially. I mean, I use it all year round, but it's a really good summer scent too. And because the packaging is really lightweight, I love the fact that it's super easy to carry around with you when you're traveling. You can put it in your purse, spray it anytime you need it. And every single time I wear this, Somebody makes a comment about how good I smell, so I love this stuff. And some of the ingredients include rose oil, geranium oil, and lemon oil. So I love all their products. Maybe one day I'll do a whole video dedicated to all my stuff from Lush because that would just take forever. But these are the products that I'm using a lot right now and that I just love. So when it comes to their packaging, they only use recyclable, reusable, compostable material. I also love the fact that if you save five of these like empty little pots from them, and bring them in once you're finished with them. They take them from you, they recycle them to be reused again, and they give you a free item, which is a really cool incentive to help people want to recycle more. Another cool thing that Lush does is they partner with this foundation that cleans up plastic from the ocean, and they help to use that plastic to recycle it into their packaging so it's not going into some waste landfill somewhere. So I think that's super cool because they are making efforts to reduce plastic and waste for the benefit of the planet. And that's not even everything, that's just some of the ways that they're taking steps to be more sustainable. And I just think it's really cool that these brands are doing that. It's getting more popular these days to be a little more sustainability focused. So I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm personally not super strict on this when it comes to like what I purchase. But if I learn that a product is sustainable or if a brand is, I'm definitely gonna do my best to support them and buy from them. And then over time, I can continue adding these items into my stash. So if you are into sustainability focused items, sustainable products and brands, please let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's any other brands that you would like to share with me or share with everybody else, please let me know as well. I'm always interested in learning more about this topic. I think it's really beneficial for the planet and for ourselves, so I'm willing to learn. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you use any of these products, feel free to let me know as well what you think about them. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.